Can your new hobby of oil painting be done on the cheap? It's a great question. You know what? I get asked this question all the time during my live streams and actually within these painting videos here. So I'm going to show you the best way I started to learn how to paint with oil paint for super, super cheap. So that way you're not hurting your wallet. And guess what? We're getting started right now. Hey, welcome back all you beautiful and creative people. Wild coming at you. And before we start the video, I wanna be 100% honest right off the bat. Whatever your creative adventure or hobby or professionalism, profession, nailed it. Whatever your profession's going to be, having a creative one or an artistic one is expensive. Sometimes it costs a few hundred dollars, sometimes it can cost a few thousand dollars. Just wanna be straight up front for you. But the way I like to justify having an art creative outlet is if it makes you happy, if it challenges you, makes you reach for things that you didn't think were possible, or it can be just a genuine stress reliever, that my friends is worth the money. But heck, that doesn't mean you have to spend every hard earned cent. And that's where I come in really strong for all of you out there. So I'm going to show you all the supplies you need, the cheaper versions that will get you where you need to go. Let's start with painting surfaces. I recommend everybody at the beginning start painting on actual canvas. Now you don't have to paint on the big expensive level twos and threes or gallery apps. No, save those for way, way down the road. You can start painting on any particular canvas that you can find for cheap just like this canvas here. But a good awesome tip is you don't need to paint on the biggest canvas at start. Save yourself a couple of bucks and buy yourself some really, really small canvas packs. You can buy these at Michaels or Amazon. And you know, a good level to start out with is like 11 by 14 or even like a square where it's like a 10 by 10 or 12 by 12. Anything like that will do fantastic at the beginning. Now I do agree, the bigger the canvas, the easier it is at the beginning because you have more room for air, which is always nice. But if you're on a very tight penny pinchingness, hey, canvases that are smaller are awesome. Penny pinchingness, I hope nobody catches on to that. Now, if you're really trying to save a couple bucks, canvas pads and canvas paper are really good. You get about 10 to 12 sheets, depending on the manufacturer of the canvas pad or paper, and they usually sell for around 10 to 15 bucks. So you can usually get one painting for about $1 of this canvas paper. That is an awesome little hack. And I recommend if you, especially if you're going to practice, always go with this. This is OP. I even have a video on it. I recommend checking it at the top of the corner. If you're not using this, start using it today. So you got your canvas, you need something to hold your canvas. And I recommend these little tabletop canvas easels. These are awesome. They're just little triangle ones that just sit really easily on top of your desk and work fantastic. What's even best about it is the price, generally around five USD on Amazon or again, Michaels, and they work fantastic. Now they're, they're not great by any means. I'll be the first one to call these out. If you're gonna do wet on wet oil paints or anything where you have to paint with a little more, you know, gusto or you wanna push in a little hard for those trees, this thing will start to slide all over your desk, which will require you to hold and paint at the same time. But you know, who cares? That's easy. Throw a towel down on your table, you got a little bit of extra support and a little bit of extra grip. By the way, put down a towel because paint's gonna get everywhere if you're just starting out. These things work fantastic. And when you wanna upgrade to an H easel, like you always see in my painting videos, which costs a few hundred dollars, you can always migrate these to be either displays for your art around your house, which looks beautiful and fantastic, or these can turn into makeshift drying racks. That way it's left off the ground and it can dry for however long you need it. These are awesome little multitaskers. So we got canvases out of the way. What's gonna hold our canvas? Well, what about what we put on top of that canvas? That's right, we need obviously paint. Now I'm gonna be flat out honest here and I highly recommend for the bang for its buck, I'm gonna say go with the Bob Ross All-in-One Master Paint Kit. I got one right here, hold on. Sorry, it's gonna be a little it's gonna be a little crinkly here. Now I'm always gonna recommend this kit. It comes with all the colors, the brushes, the knives, and everything that you need to start your adventure. The best thing about this, even though they've redesigned it a little bit, you can still find it between 80 and 125 bucks. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but remember you're getting the tools, the brushes, the liquid white, and all the different colors that you need. That's pretty great. And if you can just get it in one nice package, 
trust me, you're going to love it. And if you watch my videos, you can get about three to five paintings out of this kit right here. Now I get it. 80 to 125 bucks is a lot of money for a beginner kit and I can do it cheaper for you. So here's my recommendation. I recommend getting some Artist Loft oil paint. Now this I think is only exclusively at Michael's stores. If it's on Amazon, I'll make sure to put a link, but this is just regular old entry level student grade academic level paint, but it works fantastic. I use it all the time. The nice thing about it is generally there's more flavor of colors that you can use. You can get all these different beautiful colors. Now they do come with a little bit of warning. Since they're student grade, the pigment's not as strong, so it requires you to use more paint to get a more vibrant color, but that's minimal for a lot of beginners out there. The other negative to it is these are generally pretty creamy. When you wanna do things like paint breaks with your mounds, very difficult. When you need to add really hard and firm highlights on something, very difficult but it can be done when you do enough practice rounds, which is why I will always recommend these. Now, if you can't get any of these particular paints in your state, your country, wherever you're living at or anything, and you only have something like Amazon, I got you covered there again. I will always recommend Windsor and Newton paints. Now, these are kind of on the other side of the spectrum. These are extremely firm paints, except for the exception of like, certain browns or yellows they're a lot more creamier but most of their paints are extremely firm which means if you get a little bit of oil you can mix it in and make very cream paints and have easy highlights i really recommend getting a nice tube now when it comes to the colors of what you pick for paint this is the way i always think about it you can skip certain colors if you want but i always recommend getting all the colors of the rainbow plus black and white, and you're gonna need brown if you plan on doing anything like trees. Now, the good news is these Artist Loft paints only cost a couple of bucks for these very small tubes. And these tubes will last you a very good amount of time, except white, get a lot of white. You need white for everything during an oil painting, okay? It's your base, medium, and mixture for making colors lighter. But these little tubes will get you everywhere. You can get these with under five bucks and there's always sales at Michael for like buy one, get one 50% off, buy one, get one free, or sometimes just 70% off. Always look for those deals. Same thing can be said for Windsor Newton paints. They're generally not on sale as much and you're limited more on colors, but it's a great option you can go for. Now getting sidetracked with paint, but still on point, Windsor Newton makes water mixable or water soluble paints. So if you don't wanna buy paint thinner, this will save you a little bit of money too. They go for around the same price as the non-water mixable one. So this could be an awesome option for you. Or if you're anyone out there that lives in a, uh, a small studio apartment or a loft or a flat or anywhere within a small confined area, please, 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 you need to know that there are things like vapors that come out from oil and paint thinners and odorless thinners that you will be breathing in. So you need a good amount of space so it can dissipate out. And if that's not you out there and you wanna have your creative adventures, you will wanna go with water mixable or soluble colors, okay? So how do we apply our paint? With brushes, of course. I know, you saw that one coming. Now I do really like these Bob Ross brushes. They're natural bristle brushes and they work fantastic and I do recommend them. But for a good exchange or a trade down or something that's pretty close to equivalency, any hardware paintbrush that's a natural bristle brush will work fantastic. In fact, you know what? I was actually using some over here for some acrylics and all you gotta do is just pick these up. This is 35 cents for a one inch brush. I know it's frayed, but it still works fantastically. A little hard to blend with, but still works. And then I got a nice two and three inch brush at the hardware store for a dollar 25. They're generally on the very bottom of any of your local hardware stores and they're always going for cheap. And they work fantastic for blending in colors, making clouds, mountains, trees, land, you name it, these brushes can do it. Now they're a little more finicky because they're not built as well and they may not feel comfortable in your hand, but trust me, they work great. There is one gigantic huge flaw of using these style of paint brushes. Hairs fall out of them constantly. So just be prepared for that. Make sure you beat them off a little bit or pull out some of the loose hairs. Or if a hair does get on your paintbrush, all you gotta do is just kind of scoop it and flick it off and then reblend and you're good to go. That's kind of the only bad trade down with this. Now you need more than just these, you know, one and two inch brushes. If you plan on being really excelled with Bob Ross or wet on wet style paintings. And thus I recommend getting yourself a basic 
paint brush kit that comes with an assortment of brushes that you can use to play around with. This cost me under $5 and it came with 25 brushes of different designs. Anglers, shaders, filberts, rounds, squares, flats. It comes with pretty much everything. Now, if you're gonna do oil painting, synthetic brushes suck. Ah, they don't suck, they're just not that great. Natural bristle brushes work a heck of a lot better. So look for something in a pack that has natural bristle, natural bristle brushes? It's a very tough word to say. And you can kind of tell by the top and how it looks, but feel free to experiment and see what works best for you. Another tool you're gonna need is a palette knife. You wanna do mountains, paint breaks, snow, reflections, water, anything like that. Palette knife is really, really fun to use. Hey, they're just even great for mixing up paint on your palette, which we'll get to in a minute. And this Artist Loft knife is my favorite. In fact, it was my first palette knife. I think I remember getting it for about three to five bucks. Whereas the Bob Ross knives usually go around between 10 and like 18 to 20 USD. Now they're fantastic knives, whichever one you go with, but this is a good bear to entry. Now I know a lot of people tell me they have an extremely hard time getting palette knives in their country or the region due to like imports, exports, whatever it is. I don't know, Mars is in degradation. Could be a bunch of things. So I show you how to make your own little palette knife. Again, I'll put a video on the top of the card. It's fantastic. I made this for under, I think $2, maybe a dollar and 87 cents, 0.5342. Who cares what it is? It was super cheap and this works fantastic and you're gonna wanna check out that video. When you're painting, you're gonna get messy and your brushes are gonna get messy and required to be cleaned off between when they're dirty and they have to transition to like lighter colors or they just have to blend on top of other things so they don't really contaminate. And for this, you're gonna need paper towels or just dirty junk towels that you can get from Goodwill. Now there's no getting around these because depending on how much they cost and where you're at, that's just what you're stuck with, but you're gonna need them. So I just wanna add it into the kit. But if you do want a little bit of a hack, you can use things like old dish towels or old clothes you're not really working anymore as like rags. That kind of works, but you'll run out of those very quickly because oil gets everywhere and kind of penetrates a lot of things. Since we talked about mixing paints with a palette knife, you're gonna need a palette to mix your paints on and to make sure your brush is evenly coated with that paint. Thus, I recommend just regular old paper plates. These work fantastic. You might need one or two paper plates to get going, but you can put all your primary colors on one and then light and dark colors on another, or you can do white and black on one and then your primary colors on another. The options are endless, but these work fantastic. In fact, I use these all the times when I do acrylic because you know, cleanup's just a breeze. You're done painting, fold it all up, throw it in your trash, hey, you're all said and done. It's fantastic. So here's where you have to make a big decision, like I said before, of where you're painting from, either a small room or an open air, or whichever kind of style you want. If you plan on doing wet on wet oil paintings, that is oil which requires thinner to eat away that paint so you can clean your brushes or thin down your paint to make it a little more inky if you want it to be. And thus you're gonna need thinner. There's no way around it. Thinner is not that expensive, but it's not that cheap either. I recommend if you're just starting out, get yourself a smaller bottle, but make sure you get odorless thinner so that way there's not such bad smelling thinner vapor around your house. Trust me, you'll thank me and so will the people in your house. Now, if you want, you can do the water mixable oil paints that we talked about and just get a normal jar or glass jar and fill it with water and you know dip and clean as you go. Just remember, if you are going to use water, you're gonna have to condition your brushes after you paint because natural bristle, natural bristle brushes are just like your hair. The more water you introduce, it's gonna get brittle over time and they're gonna break, okay? We're up to one of the big boys of things that you can trade down to or you can find an equivalent of, but if you're just starting out, to be honest, I don't recommend it. I want you to buy the product because it's gonna help you immensely and that way you can learn correctly. And that, my friends, is buying Magic or Liquid White right off the bat. You're going to need this so much because pretty much every painting out there requires you to use Magic White at some point or Liquid White and you use it for so many things. Putting it on down as your base, you can create natural gradients in the sky, adding it to other paints so it's easier to add highlights on top of bushes, scraping it on your canvas so you can add beautiful water reflections or shore breaks. You use this for a ton of stuff. And you can get these cans somewhat cheaply now for a couple of bucks on Amazon. It's a lot more available. And this stuff's great and fantastic. Now, if you do want to trade down or equivalent, you can use my liquid white recipe, which comes in great at a pinch. Put that on top of the card, recommend checking it out. But still, I recommend buying it because this stuff is fantastic and it's made perfectly for what you're trying to do. Mine's just an equivalent that helps you out if you can't get it. So in my book, 
buy it. If you know you're the painter out there that wants to try different styles of wet on wet, I would recommend finding the base coat pack. Now this is actually really hard to find now because I don't know if they even make it anymore, but if they do, I'll put a link down below, but it comes with your liquid white, liquid clear, liquid black, and your soap cleaner. This way you can do, you know, light colored paintings, dark colored paintings, transparent paintings for anything like, you know, shore breaks or waves. It's fantastic to play around with this. And this is actually not that expensive if you can find it. I understand that you have to be a little frugal or you have to be a little smarter of how you spend your money out there, which is why you can always use these trade downs just we showed in this video. If you get all the supplies here, you can start painting all of your creations for a fraction of the price. In fact, you can start to make some really cool paintings for under hundreds of dollars. You will freaking love it. I know you will. And if you do plan on buying any of the supplies that we mentioned in this video, do me a huge favor. You can use all the links down below and that helps support my channel and it costs you nothing. So thank you very much. Now, if I've inspired you to go out there and paint, I would love to see your paintings. You can always reach out to me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll put links down in the description below for you to follow me there, because I love seeing all of your creation. It makes me so happy, it makes me smile to see all the beautiful colors that you create. Now, if you like this type of video and you wanna see more awesome videos to get you jumpstarted on your creative adventure out there, you know what to do. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when my videos go live for you. And make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know how awesome I was today because it helps me out. And until next time, all you beautiful and creative people, stay creative and of course, peace.